Good morning, it's me, Malu Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. It's Friday, no, it's Saturday, October 7th, and we are five days away from my birthday, October 14th. I have been in hibernation for 30 days. The month before my birthday, I do like a whole ritual kind of thing where I go into hibernation. I've been using my little tracker app um are you gonna focus to like track every day that i'm hitting my goals so i've been doing 30 minutes of exercise a day i have not drank in almost a month i've been pescatarian i finish my little gallon jug every day and i've read at least 10 pages of a book every day so i've been on it but now the weekend is coming next week i go on my birthday trip and it's time to begin the birthday maintenance olympics I really like to call it the Bad Bitch Olympics, but you know, my mom would be watching. Hey, mom. Um, but for the next, every day until I leave, I have a maintenance appointment of some type. And I'm taking you guys with me. I know the girls be doing maintenance vlogs. So we're going to maintain. When I do my little 30-day hiatus, I also, I let my hair grow out. I haven't dyed it in a while. Um, so I will have to do my hair. Today I am getting my face waxed. I did this for a birthday two years ago now and I loved it. I was gonna get a facial, but I need to get my eyebrows and my lip waxed anyway. So I said, why not just do the full face? I just loved the way it looked after. It was like a new coat of skin. It was shiny, it was smooth. I'm sure estheticians are going to say, do not wax your whole face, but I'm doing it today. Tomorrow we have pedicure. I got to get these nails done. They are in bad shape. I will not show y'all feet. It's a lot of things. I got to do lots of things. I got some shopping I have to do, all that. But I'm about to finish getting ready. My air fryer just went off. And my alarm is going off that I need to leave soon. So today we're getting waxed and I'm excited. May or may not do a sneak peek. No, I'm not going to my birthday outfit. Follow me on Instagram at Malibu Darby because I'm going to try to vlog a trip, but y'all know how I go when I try to vlog like vacations. It's, I feel like being in the moment, so it's hard to vlog the moment when I'm in the moment, but let's get started. I got to get this face wax. It's getting very furry, so see y'all in a little bit. A full face wax. Yes. Okay, so brows, how do you normally like your brows? Um, I don't really have much. Okay. But just clean up around them. I try to just make it easier when I do my makeup, essentially. Okay. Okay. And then I know full face consists of like chin, cheeks, lip, brows. Mm -hmm. Any areas you didn't want me to wax? Um, mainly I, the main part I more I like is lip, mm -hmm. and then like here. Okay. I don't have a lot of facial hair. Okay. But I just like to get the fuzz off. I feel like it looks like a fresher face. I feel you. I feel you. Have you done a dermal planning before? I have. Mm hmm Not professionally. Okay. Which I know is it. So we are out of the wax. It's kind of hard to see because the lighting, I honestly don't want to be in the sun that much because my skin is like baby skin right now and I don't have on sunscreen. Um, but hopefully you can see how smooth and snatched my skin is. I literally think, gosh, my hair looks crazy. I think this might be the best someone has ever done my eyebrows. I love waxing. It's very similar to dermaplaning as far as like the effects. Like your skin looks softer. It looks more smooth. Your skincare can kind of be absorbed better. Like I just love it. It feels relaxing to me. Um, oh yes. Yes. Okay. The process. I gotta trust the process. Right now I'm very oily and shiny because she did put um, cooling gel and oil on my face post wax. So that's why I look a little crazy or extra crazy in hair and everything. But trust the process because as it comes together when we get this hair done and this nails and stuff, you know, these feet done, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. But I can just tell how good my skin is gonna look. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm just so excited. And it was pretty fast too. I mean, for my full face. And one thing about me with my service providers, when I go get a service, I be in therapy. I would tell my business. I don't know what it is, but my, I gotta get them a Christmas gift or something this year for all my service providers because nail salon, wet, like we be in there talking. So it was a pleasant experience. I had a great time. 
I actually went to college and I've known her for years. Um, this is my first time getting a wax with her, but she did a great job. I'll definitely be back. I'm just glad to get started because I was starting to get cabin fever and just feeling real, you know, girl, you looking rough. So this was good, but yeah, so let me, I need to get in the house and put some sunscreen on immediately and I won't work out later today because also like dermaplaning and peels and all that. I'm not, you're not supposed to sweat. It's just like when you get a Brazilian or something. I'm not supposed to really sweat or be harsh on my skin for like 24 hours, that kind of thing. So we're good right now. Yeah, the beauty Olympics have again and I'm excited. Good morning. Sunday morning, we are on day two of the beauty Olympics. I am going to get, sorry, I'm also taking my trash out. I'm going to get a pedicure today. It's cold outside now. Literally today is 44 degrees. But the shoes that I'm wearing for my birthday dinner are open toe. So still gotta get these toes done. It's been way too long. I feel like the minute I walk in there, then people are gonna start talking about me. Um, but that's okay. But I'm very excited because I need a little, little self-care Sunday. So I might get the, you know, some extra add-ons for the, um, pedicure i'm very excited i got my headphones i got a new book oh let me get my new book okay so i just finished reading calm the f down by sarah knight focus for me there we go um very good book it says how to control what you can and accept what you can't so you can stop freaking out and get on with your life i'm a chronic worrier like I have anxiety, I worry a lot. So this book tells me a lot. I literally just finished this one and hopefully at the nail salon today, depending on how I feel, I'll start a new book my sister gave me called Everything is Effed. There is a reoccurring theme for me. I really like really aggressive self-help books, a little tough love. So that book was good and I'm excited to start this one today. I'm also trying something different and I've gotten just white toes for years like literally five plus years i've only gotten white toes today i'm going to get black i think because i want to get black on my nails and i'm going to try something different for fall and spooky season so cross your fingers i am terrified that i'm going to get my toes done and absolutely hate it i've been on pinterest literally looking at black toenails with brown skin so just cross your fingers i gotta get out of here let's get these feet done let's get some self-care also get into how shiny and smooth i don't know if it's focusing but how shiny and smooth my skin is. I got my sunscreen on. <sighs> All right, let's go. All right, y'all. We're back. It's finally Monday. This has been the most mundane Monday ever. It's my brain is already going on vacation. Um. I can feel that I did get my feet done as you guys saw. I love, but okay, I like the black toes. I don't feel like my feet look dirty. I was very nervous, um, did something different, but I actually like them, they look good. So, crash is averted. Now it's time to do the most important thing, which is to handle this hair. Um, honestly, y'all know I've been doing my own hair for a few months now. I did a little, I don't know if I can tag a short but i did a little short video with kind of like a quick routine of my process um and i'll put my amazon storefront in the um description box in case you want to see like specifically all the products i use literally everything that i use is tagged in there um i haven't done like a full long video because i'm not a professional and it is a really actually a pretty long process um i process my hair twice like I bleach it twice and then I tone it. Um, I won't be cutting it today because I've actually been growing it out a little bit so I could try to do a pixie today. So I'm gonna try to style it in a pixie. And then um, when I go to my mom's house tomorrow, my brother is gonna like shape it up and cut it in the back. So just coloring it today. I should get a bigger comb, but I'm just trying to comb it out right now so I can bleach it. This is actually one of the times where I kind of wish I was going to get it done because I'm just like, ugh, I just want it to be done already. Uh, but I know once I get the process started, it won't be bad. So let's get the process started. 
I'm long, it's longer than normal, so I got my little microscopic flat iron. So hopefully, hopefully this comes out in pixie. Let's see. process oh okay we're pretty white oh okay okay yay I was a little iffy when I was sitting because I don't know I felt like I had it on for a while but um that's another reason I don't do tutorial videos because honestly every time I dye my hair I am just like lord please don't let this be the time I mess something up and end up bald so it's just too much pressure, but here we are with the first process. I think it looks much whiter on camera um, than it is in person. My longer hair is pretty white, but the root, it still has some yellow to it. So I'm going to do a second process with um, 20 developer. So I used my Blondie 40 first. Now I'm gonna go do the same thing y'all just saw me do, but with just 20 developer. Still using my Blondie powder just to lift. I know no matter how close I get, y'all won't be able to see, just to lift the root some more because it's just a little yellow at the root and I really wanna try to get as icy as possible. If I could get my whole head the color of this hair, like the long hair, I honestly wouldn't even need to tone. Um, but we'll do that second one and then see. Please with it so far. Oh, I still gotta sit on the dryer and everything. This is just, I don't know. If you are thinking about cutting your hair or doing something short because it's low maintenance, it's not. It's That's a big lie. It's not low maintenance at all. Not even, no, it's not low maintenance. Um, because you have to do it even more often. I mean, I'm saving myself a lot of money by doing it myself now, because I will say I started off going to the stylist, obviously, um, and I loved it and she's amazing and I would 100% go back all the time, but to keep the color the way I wanted, I was having to go every two weeks. Um, and coloring is not cheap, especially if, if you want to go platinum and you have to get double processed, like, Coloring is not cheap, so it got very expensive very quickly, and I realized for me, I wasn't comfortable paying that amount of money for such a small amount of hair. To have two inches worth of hair and be walking out paying 75 on the, that's the lowest, that's the absolute, that's if you get no color. But if you're getting color, now you're looking at 125, 150, 250, 350, like if you're getting color, a double process, a cut, and this is like, you could be spending $300, and I just don't have enough hair for me to feel like I can justify that personally. And I don't want to have to sit in a salon for two, three, four hours every two weeks. Uh, at least this way I can do it at home. I can eat, I can do it whenever I have time. It's just, this works for me. But I highly recommend if you can upkeep your blonde and your short hair at a salon, do that because bleach is just, is even more dangerous than relaxer um i just be risking it all on my hair but that's why that's why i don't like to i don't want to do a video because i'm not like promoting do it yourself i just like to save a little bit of money but second process i'm gonna leave this one much shorter this will probably just be like 20 minutes because like i said i'm just trying to get the roots real fast and ever since i've been trying to get it back you pick it up put it back every second every minute man i swear that she can get it every second every minute man i swear that she can get it every second every minute man i swear that she can get it Sit on the dryer anymore. I did all my paper wrap and stuff, so I'm just gonna hope 
that it's dry enough. Um, let me untie this. And then I've already started the laundry. I've already started my night routine and stuff because it's relatively late. Um, so I'm actually not going to flat iron it and all that right now because I'm just about to get in the bed. So I don't want to put heat on it for no reason. Um, so I'm just going to untie this, put some oil on it, and then put my do-rag on. And then when it's actually time to style it, it's feeling pretty flat. Okay, good. When it's actually time to style it, then I bust out my little flat iron and um, my little hot comb and stuff. Because I just don't want to, like I said, my hair's already, you know, processed and treated and stuff. I just don't want to damage it anymore if I don't have to. So I'm gonna just put some oil in it. Okay, we're pretty dry. I be rushing that process. I do not like sitting in the dryer. Okay, so we are pretty dry. Um, low key, I could just wear it like this, but I think I am going to, uh, let's see. Honestly, it might be too short to even flat iron at all. Okay, no, I can, there's some stuff to flat iron. So I'll lift it when I flat iron it and just kind of give it texture. I normally do finger waves like exclusively. I always do finger waves and I wanted to try something a little bit different and just kind of give it a little more texture and style than I normally do. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do. And then worst case scenario, I can always do this. So we are, I see white hair is done. It's coming together already. Nails in the morning. And then low key, I'm ready to be activated. Yes. Okay, let's go to bed. Good morning. I took my glasses off because I looked like I was in witness protection, but I got my do-rag under my bucket hat. We are at the nail salon. It is past time. My filling doesn't look too bad, but actually, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. They were chipping pretty bad this time, so very excited to get my nails done. I literally have my bag and stuff in the car because I'm getting on the road. As soon as I get my nails done, I'm getting taffy and I'm getting out of here. And I'm just in a really good mood. This is like, not my Friday because I still work this week, but I'm just in a really good mood. I'm really excited for this birthday. I hit my 30 days today of my pescatarian, no alcohol, all that. So feeling good, feeling great. How are you? I'm just in a good mood. I'm getting in the birthday mode. I'm getting excited for the trip. I'm excited to see my sister and my friends and my mom and everybody else. I know I'm gonna cry because I just be crying when I get with everybody and just feel so thankful and loved and all that kind of stuff. But I'm very excited, even just to put makeup on. I haven't put makeup on or been outside like in a month. So I'm charged up. My social battery is charged. I'm ready. I'm excited. The weather is amazing. I hope it's like that in DC. My hair came out great. I still have, I didn't even break the mold and like comb it through. I have another do rag because like I said, last night, I'm gonna wait until I have to actually style it and put heat and texture on like on it. I don't wanna just, you know, mess it up because it's nice and straight right now. So I wanna leave it as is. But I'm gonna run in the salon, get these nails done. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna get, so we'll see. I've been really just there, and I'm just going to be honest with you. Man. Today felt like a long day. That, that wasn't Today is one day? Yesterday felt okay. like a long day. Perfect. Okay. Mike is going to help me blend that blood. I get to this point. Today I will play 430. Got better stem, catch a wave on us. Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment. I'm sky walking on these haters. Celebrate every day. I, I appreciate that, and I think you guys. Um, it, Time to design. I think a lot of us are dealing with trauma. You don't need a picture, right? You see, you see. What I mean, doing. unless you want it, send it to me. It don't have to it be might like help that. Me. It might help. Me oh, okay. I'm like, don't feel like it's gotta be like that. No, no, no. no. It might help me have some direction because okay. I get my mind gets the brain fart. And this one looks really thick. Should I not tell you this one? Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment. Oh, sky walking on these haters. Celebrate every day. Okay, y'all, so I filmed an outro for the video, but the audio was damaged. It got crazy getting ready for my trip, but be sure to check out my Instagram at Malu Darby to see how it all came together for my birthday. Thank you for watching.